of Isaiah chapter 6. Hallelujah. If you dare say amen. The Bible says, In the year that the king of Zion died, I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne, high and exalted, and the train of his robe filled the temple. The seraphim stood above him, each had six wings, with two he covered his eyes, and the two he covered his feet, and with two he was flying. They kept on calling to each other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of the heavenly armies. The whole earth is full of his glory. Verse 4 says, the foundations of the thresholds quack at the sound of those who kept calling out. And the temple was filled with smoke. Now the Revelation 4 give us an imagery of the throne room of God in the heavenly realm. That's where we found the throne is. That's where we find there were angels who are countless and also the redeemed of God. Hallelujah. The Bible said there were innumerable people that no man could count. But then we come to Isaiah and we understand that there is a tremendous connection between the throne in heaven and then earth being filled with God's glory. Are you with me? So there is in Isaiah now is our shift our minds that from Revelation 4 to where the throne is to Isaiah 6 we find that now that very presence of God's throne is felt on the earthly realm because the temple is on the earth and not in heaven and then there is a declaration the declarations are the same holy 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 but this time around the creatures and the the, the angels and also the the saints of god have added into that declaration and what we, what are they declaring they are declaring the whole earth is filled with glory in revelation 4 they are saying who was who is and who is to come they speak of god's eternal abode which is the throne but in Re in Isaiah 6 now they, they we find that the throne of god is now in the middle of God's people and now the scene has shifted from throne room to temple because here God comes in and Bible says as he walks into the temple the his robe the train of his robe just fills the temple and then there is smoke hallelujah so there are two different dimensions there are two different places but then they are joined in with the same kind of declarations and that is the attributes of God because Bible says at the calling out of these the earth was shaken the threshold in the temple was shaken it means that those who were in the temple in the earthly realm joined in together with those who were in the heavenly realm and they spoke the same language and as they entombed their heart with what was happening in the heaven Bible says the earth stuck to shake beneath them let me say this to you whenever the voice of the church is aligned with the voice of God and when there is a unison with what God wants to do and how the purposes of God are fulfilled upon this earth let me say this to you the very realm of the earth shakes to receive God there has to be that one voice that's why Revelation chapter 22 verse 17 says, The Spirit and the Bride says, Come! So the voice of the Spirit, which is in the spiritually realm, and the Bride, who is of the earthly dimension, have one voice. And that's why the Zion says, As they kept calling out, at the calling out of them, the earth started to shake. So church need to align her voice with the voice of the Spirit. So the heavens can come down upon this earth. So the bride, the voice of the bride and the voice of the spirit has to be one. Because the Bible says the spirit and the bride says come one word. It speaks of unison. Hallelujah. Church needs to realign herself. Seeking the face of God. And finding her place where she can hear what the spirit is saying.
but it's not about our intellect and our gifts and calling and how anointed we are and how powerful we are and what we can do and what we can achieve it's all about what he is saying to us and we need to align ourselves with that voice